I'm Aradhana Lal. I am heading uh, sustainability initiatives for Lemon Tree Hotels. I do with inclusion and diversity, where we hire people who are disabled. Look at that 95% of what I see. It is so encouraging and inspiring that mainstreaming works and inclusion works. It can be done and we've been doing it for 11 years and it is possible to make it a reality. That means in India, we don't have to be the way we are right now. This stigma can be removed. My name is Amri Shahpuri. I'm from Converges. When you start a project, it's important to have some sort of extra strategy because I having that vision that your finance can be working in any kind of project forever is not very practical and it's not going to be sustainable. It has to be that I would look for models where either the communities would take up ownership or you would have is maybe even social entrepreneurs coming in saying that we can generate some kind of profit out of this and we can take it over from you. So My name is Satyajit. Joined the Tata Trust about uh, seven months back. The, the power of volunteerism, when a program is well designed, I used to run a team uh, called uh, Masti Ki Prayogshala, MBA gold medalist and a PhD scholar from uh, IIT Delhi. Right? Both of them had come together with an idea telling that uh, you know the science learning in schools are not uh, up to the mark. The program was so well designed. They created an entire structure of recruitment of volunteers. You know, for the first time we saw a very stringent uh, interview process before you can volunteer. We put up a written test first, and uh, it, this this just spread like wildfire. You know, I mean, I mean that the inspiration of uh, a well designed program uh, going to scale. At you know, without dilution of quality, is something that is wonderful. Mamta Saike, I am the CEO of Bharti Foundation. We have over 200 schools of ourselves, and we are nearly in thousand government schools at any point of time in a year. One day I was visiting Satya Bharti school, and I asked a child. He was in class three, so a child who is just eight years old or nine years old. I asked him. I said, "School me kya acha lagta hai?" He just turned around and he said. इस स्कूल में सब सच बोलते हैं एंड इट टुक माय ब्रेथ अवे यू नो एंड आई आस्ट हिम आई सर वुड यू मीन बाय दैट ही सर हमें टीचर्स ने बोला हमारे लिए यूनिफॉर्म्स आएंगी और तीन चार दिन में यूनिफॉर्म्स आ गई हमें टीचर ने बोला कल आपको हम न्यू पेंसिल्स देंगे हमें कल न्यू एंड दैट यू नो टोल मी दैट हाउ मच अ चाइल्ड इज इन्फ्लुएंस्ड बाय पीपल अराउंड दैम प्रोसेस अराउंड दैम दैट डे आई रियलाइज दैट हाउ आई टॉक वट आई से how i come across is very critical because if children are noticing us then teachers are noticing us leaders we have to inspire teachers to live the values every single day i'm ravi bhatnagar with jacket pink keys sir most i wow moment for us as was like you know so there were a lot of companies who were actually approaching government of maharashtra to work with them so we were the only ones who said okay we will take the challenge of working together with you in 50 cities across maharashtra and we chose bottom of the pyramid districts on the swachh bharat indicators we took all of them and the proud moment is flat 8 months we were able to make maharashtra urban open defecation free for that we were awarded by the president of india on 1st of october 2017 and uh, we look forward to do more great work with the government with the partners for the communities on ground and this is just a beginning for us and we feel like uh, once we are ready with our health impact bonds and social impact bonds for india that will be a very big change what india will be seeing my name is supriya i work for tata communication i think we uh, often forget that we need to talk about what we are doing um and talk about it in a manner that's understood by different stakeholders it's not about you know blowing your own trumpet or or talking about your work but really uh you know creating stories around what you are doing and it all comes back for me to people connections relationships but i think these these softer issues sometimes get neglected so uh, this is abhishek ranj um, i am from brilio technologies i believe the communication is a great tool for motivating people be external or internal and communications uh, you know strategies is a very very integral part of of us for my strategy that's something that you have to walk the walk and talk the talk prishma anand i head in the stanuli the foundation 
the human capacity exists to actually find solutions to problems i think the moment you stop looking at yourself as a donor or a benefactor and you stop looking at communities as beneficiaries you will realize that all you're doing is actually enabling them to find a route or an access to a solution they do have it in them you're just the means to it i'm jacob nine i take care of access bank foundation while we were set up in 2006 initially after a phase of four or five years in education we switched tracks to livelihood as a theme and because in the indian context india is majorly rural we decided to get into rural livelihoods so currently our focus is entirely in the area of rural livelihood why not education and health and why rural livelihood uh, it's our thought that unless the livelihood needs are met properly all the social objectives of health education nutrition hygiene r- remains unfulfilled so in earlier work that we did we started livelihood in 2010 11 so some of those communities we are seeing that with the surplus income that they are some of them are able to get now they are spending it fruitfully in these areas final objective is a social enhancement of the communities that is getting met my name is nusrat nusrat patan i head the csr at hdfc bank we thought that uh, you know everybody talks about how government schools are dysfunctional and teachers are dispassionate and really don't want to teach low attendance etc etc uh, the thought was that can we look at what is going right a lot of uh, people who have actually studied in these rural uh, schools and have you know made it uh, in top positions uh, in the society so what is it that was different for them what is it that worked for them and that was the thought uh, with which we came out with this entire um, program where we said let us go back to teachers and find out what is it that the teachers are doing that is right which are the teachers that are working which are the teachers that are innovating without any support from anybody uh, because these are the uh, ideas that are actually scalable because they require zero investment if you actually have to reach out to schools we have to have a solution which emerges from them which is easily scalable replicable uh, we are working in 10 states uh, where we reach out to these teachers talk to them about zia i get their endorsement and get their ideas in um compile these ideas um, we recognize the teachers and this is done through the government now uh, and these ideas have then been mapped to the state curriculum you know how do you use your snake and ladder or a ludo game to teach maths or you know how do you teach circles so that's really a program which we are very extremely passionate about and that's a program that we are now looking at taking to another 10 states this year so that's a real uh, large scale uh, program that yeah we are very happy about